Hi, welcome back. We are here with Ed Thornburg. He is the curator and director of the IU East Art Galleries. Thanks for coming. It's fine. And could you explain them what's going on in the art gallery right now? Uh, well, currently we have a we're showing a traveling exhibit called The Veil. It originated in uh, the Kansas City area and it was created by an author curator named Jennifer Heath who also wrote a book about The Veil. Um, it it involves the well, socio-political um, aspects of wearing a veil. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, art is, um, oh, I would say, Near East uh, Islamic countries, and um, quite a variety. We have some installations, some fabric installations, some paintings, uh, drawings on silk. It's, it's really quite diverse, mm -hmm. and uh, so there's some sculpture. A little bit of everything. It's 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 the it's the most extraordinary show we've ever had here. Yeah, yeah um, I saw it, and it looks looks pretty nice and different, and a lot of different um, mediums of art. Mm -hmm. And um, what are these artists from like all around the world, or is it just? Yeah, it it was it was generated. I should tell you, it was generated. I I received a cup uh, about two years ago. I received a CD as I often do about from different artists mm -hmm. wanting to show it at our. Um, institution and I mean he sent it up to the women's studies Laverne Nishihara who is, is um, very comprehensive in everything she does and she took an interest in it and she managed to find funding for it and um, we wondered if two years would ever come it came pretty quick oh, right. and and the the, uh, the the show arrived in eight very huge wooden crates which we had to deal with that mm -hmm. which was kind of new for us and <laughs> anyway we were able to show most everything that was delivered from from here, it'll get delivered uh, back to, the, to uh, I think uh, the Denver area. I'm not sure. I have to double check on that. What other cities has it been in? I'm not sure. I know it. It came to us from Connecticut. It had been. Let me think. Chicago area. It kind of made a wide loop from the uh, from the west. I guess. Sounds interesting. Um, how long is like when is the show going on and how long is it going to be it's, in the art gallery? It'll be there through April it'll and then um, after that we will have uh, a local sculptor of found art named Andrew Richter who has uh, the assembled farm implements to resemble animals. It'll be kind of a fun show oh. and, and that's in one gallery in the in the hall gallery called the Meyer Artway we'll have the student um, we call it the student showcase. Oh okay. But we'll see the students work, and that's uh, when is that's after the. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I don't know these days exactly, but uh, second week in May, both those will begin. Oh, okay, so. and you said, that, could you just explain for the viewers the difference between the two art galleries? Well, originally, the original uh, building on this campus was Whitewater. They have a hall, which mm -hmm. was called I think it was called the Whitewater Gallery at one point, um, and that was our gallery up until 2004 when they took. Two classrooms, and took the partition out and created a new, a very nice enclosed gallery. Oh, okay. And so, currently, and for our bigger shows like our Whitewater competition, we will use the enclosed gallery, the hallway that connects um, it to the Meyer Artway. So it's kind of a, it makes a much much larger mm -hmm. more space. And um, how often are students' works showcased in the once, galleries? Once a year, we do that. Um, that they have a chance to be showcased uh, during our whitewater competition, which is in October, okay. where we invite um, any artist within a 300 mile radius of Richmond to enter the competition, and hopefully they will get selected. Oh, okay. And what what kind of prize do they? Do well, they win? we've since 2004, when I took over, we um, have upped it a little bit. I think last year we gave away I think seven thousand wow. dollars in in uh, purchase awards. And merit awards. So it's scholarship, kind of. Well, just money. It's just, just money. money. We, we we've had local donors. We we're hoping to maybe maybe get a large um, sponsor this year, but with the economy, we're not we're not sure about that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but at at that six thousand level, that that competes heavily with many of the uh, competitions around mm -hmm. the United States. So. Sounds like it. And going back to the veil, like how was it? How long did it take you guys to set up? everything from the crates? I, I had um, three students help me, if I can remember that. 
um, Zach Bishop, Whitney Loftus, Jasmine Lloyd. And uh, they were uh, students of Lover Nishihara's, Dr. Mm -hmm. Nishihara's, and uh, we arranged for them to work, and, and uh, they, I think they'll get some extra credit for it. They mm -hmm. didn't get much from me, <laughs> maybe a Coke or but, uh, something. <laughs> grateful to have them. Yeah. I saw you guys setting it up, and it looked like pretty extensive. It wasn't too bad, really. It's, it's, it, for me, the hard part is figuring it out. Oh, you know, yeah, how's it going to space out? I hope we, hopefully we can include everything there, and we've been pretty fortunate so far. So you guys, they don't tell, the, like, the traveling company doesn't tell you guys where to put it, like you have to figure out where to put everything in the gallery? The, this this uh, exhibit came with very specific directions, but they all have to work within, you know, within the confines of what we have. Yeah. And um, so, some of the works arrived, gave very specific directions how to hang it, and some didn't, but we, <laughs> I think we followed the rules, I'm not <laughs> sure. Do you think it's going to be a challenge taking it down at all, or? Well. It, it, it'll be a challenge for me because everything has to be very, very well wrapped and put back in the specific cate, uh, crates marked and shipped on to the next venue. So, so how long do you think it'll take you to, oh, to wrap with everything? the student up? help? They they promise to come back. They may not, but they promise <laughs> to come back. And uh, I hope a couple of days, maybe three days. And do you have any other? I guess going moving on to next year. Do you have any other big events planned like this one or? We, we have no, we haven't. Um, not not of the scale, but um, annually we have the, the white water competition, which I mentioned there in October. We have a uh, an annual area nine with with the senior citizens, mm -hmm. and what else do we have that's kind of regular? I'm not sure if we have anything else that just regularly happens um, each year. So oh, okay. Expect some new stuff. Look, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, is there any final words that you just want to say anything about the art museum or the gallery? Um, no, just just I hope everyone comes and sees this show because it is a very, very high quality show. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, c come out and support the students when they have their stuff in. And with, with, with every single um, exhibit, we have a reception usually very close to the beginning of it. So That's good. The first week usually, so. Well, thank you for joining us, sure. and we will be right back.